Good morning, lights. It is often said that history repeats itself. Something that has occurred before is destined to happen again. I believe that Gaia's golden age is returning as we speak. Humans and animals coexisted peacefully during the golden age of Gaia. And this state of affairs will once again prevail. But first we need to practice coexisting peacefully. A moment in Earth's history when the planet was more stable and healthy is referred to as the Golden Age of Gaia. The French philosopher Pierre Teilhard originally used the phrase in his book, The Future of Man. Based on his research in biology, geology, and paleontology, Teilhard developed these theories. He thought that various species had developed over millions of years as they have adapted to their environments. These organisms eventually reach a point when their evolution has halted, at which time they either become extinct or go dormant. According to some experts, this is what occurred to humans approximately 10,000 years ago, when agriculture first appeared and they began to transition from an agricultural to an urban existence. As all other life forms on Earth had done in the past, Teilhard thought at some point in the future, he dubbed it the Omega point, that human species would gain awareness and progress towards divinity. The Golden Age of Gaia was a moment in Earth's and humanity's past when both species were able to transcend their inherent destructive tendencies and live peacefully with the environment. Many cultures have foretold the coming of the Golden Age, including the Sumerians, Egyptians, and Greek civilizations. Gaia's golden age is really here. It's not a dream. It is happening once again. It is a location that every one of us may access. It's time to build a new world out of the ruins of the old one as the golden age approaches very soon. Something tremendous Something that will change the course of history is about to happen. We are about to enter a time where we can start to repair the earth and ourselves in ways that have never been conceivable before. It's time to start bringing about the new earth since it really does exist. The new earth will be a vast improvement over the current one. The ancient earth couldn't last. It had issues that would lead to its destruction. Living on the new earth will be fantastic. The planet is undergoing a significant shift. New approaches of life in harmony with our world, ourselves and one another are challenging the conventional notions of authority and control. The old order is dissolving. Really, everything is fine. The arrival of the new earth and the demise of the old earth. For more than 10 years, people have been talking about the new earth. I can still see the thought racing through my head when I first began hearing about it. How will we survive on this planet? How will it be distinct 
from what we've come to expect. What will occur to us if we pass away? And so on and so forth. In a sense, it is exhilarating that the new earth will soon be here. Do you understand what it's like to be enthusiastic? You know when you're anticipating something so much that you just can't bear to wait any longer because you're so excited. I feel precisely the same way about the new earth and all that comes with it. Rapid change is occurring in the physical world, but we have the chance to adapt and face it head on, although we have been prepared for it for quite some time. It is occurring more quickly than we had expected. Although we may believe so, we do not really live on the planet we are on. The removal of harmful organisms and hazardous compounds from the earth, its inhabitants, and its resources is taking place. In order to advance into a better world, we must also purge ourselves of these damaging substances. You may become ready by paying attention to your intuition, cultivating appreciation and forgiving yourself and others, and submitting to your higher power or energy source. You need to have the ability to embrace whatever energy is available in order to be ready for the new earth. You could be experiencing sadness or anger about something, but rather than attempting to alter it, by your thoughts, emotions or deeds. Allow yourself to experience whatever emotion arises without feeling guilty about it. Then, rather than hanging on to them and attempting to make things right so that everything will be good again, let go of any bad sentiment about what occurred or who did what. The earthly existence is a test. It is a constant struggle. Even if it may seem like too much at times, we must keep in mind that this is life, and life is a gift. It is a chance for us to grow, discover and change. We're not meant to live in anxiety and dread. Instead, we're meant to live joyfully and with purpose. Everything will start to fall into place once you begin to live from your heart. Your life will be filled to the brim with love and light, guiding you towards a life of plenty and appreciation and enabling you to enter the golden age of Gaia, a life of abundance, free from worrying and dread, is awaiting you. So you must embrace this journey and the energy that is available, and you must do what it takes to get ready for the new earth then you will be able to enter a joyous and abundant life with purpose. Things will start to make sense at last. I cannot wait for you to get there. As always, we love you deeply and wish for you to have the most abundant and joyous life possible. Have a wonderful day.